we have some friends who arrived. This is Henry and Patricia. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll try for Trisha again. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Patricia. Come on. Maybe you have to give him a little sample, place it somewhere. <laughs> it's very thin there. Look at him. So beautiful. Yeah. No, 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 no. Look. There you go. Little duck. There you go. There you go. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you little beautiful girl. So precious. So we're just going out for a walk. Walk. To the forest. Yes. Just up the road. Yeah, we're right next to a national park basically. So we'll go there and take you on the journey. And we forgot to say that it's our two years today. What? Is it? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. Two years of marriage. Right? Not marriage. Not what? marriage. What? It is. No. Okay, two years away from marriage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ew, I think I just nodded on you. Ew. All right, what else are we saying? Anything? No, no, no. We'll, we'll uh, show you the forest and we'll talk some more there. Okay. so quiet. It feels wrong to talk. Go on, run down. So we're going to talk about our vegan down jackets that we bought the other day. But before we talk about them, I'll talk about this jacket which has a label that it's 100% vegan, obviously, because I wouldn't buy anything that isn't vegan. But a lot of people think that it isn't vegan because this looks like wool, but you don't need to be exploiting and abusing sheep to wear something that looks like wool. Um, the wool industry is incredibly cruel, so it's better to choose the vegan options. And this is vegan suede here as well. So no animals were abused for this jacket and no animals were abused for these jackets either. So these are both North Face. Oh, where's the North Face sign? There. Yeah. Yep. So what's oh. it called? Also this bad boy. Yeah. Um, material for the vegan down jacket. It's called uh, 
thermo eco ball or something thermo ball eco yep. something like that yeah so it's a synthetic down material um, because most of their products are unfortunately made from the feathers of tortured geese ducks as well or just geese it's a good question i believe it's actually just geese Dominion will definitely show you. So make sure you do watch Dominion on YouTube to see what happens in the down industry as well as other industries that abuse animals. And they will say some bullshit like um, the equivalent of like fair trade down or yeah, they something always have like that. Like, but yeah, they always have sustainable down or oh, some yeah. kind of sustain sustainable down certification. What does sustainable mean? How Absolutely can you rip nothing. the feathers off, off an animal continually throughout their life and say that it's somehow sustainable maybe that's for the environment but doesn't even consider the the rights and suffering of those beings which is probably more important because of the amount of pain they have to endure just for clothing yeah it's just again another corrupt propaganda lie and marketing tactic to make consumers feel good about the products it's no different to having an rspca label on the murdered flesh of a pig, cow ch or chicken. Um, it's no different to saying this is humane, organic, free range meat, dairy and eggs. It's abuse and murder. There's nothing more to it, no matter where it comes from. So it's just another label to try and make people feel good. But the down industry is incredibly cruel. As you said, they rip their feathers from their bodies. And once they're considered no longer profitable, they are murdered. And this is what happens consistently amongst all animal industries. So we're wearing synthetic down because we don't need to be abusing birds for our own warmth. We can get vegan alternatives. Yep. So it's good that North Face are doing this. I believe Patagonia have their own version of that as well. Yeah. I forget the name of it, but um, they're available there. I don't know about Kathmandu. Kathmandu. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just choose that vegan option because I think a lot of people are unaware that, well, what down really is. I mean, for a yeah. long, you know, for most of my life, I just, I didn't consider what that meant. You know, who had to suffer um, for my fashion choice or my yeah. just clothing and warmth choice. Yeah. Um, yeah, so consider it, you know, not only the beings that are on your plate, but the beings that had to go into producing materials in your clothing and bedding. Yeah, so and they pillows. use feathers yeah, yeah. in pillows and bedding and stuff. I think it is a lot more common now to find synthetic options. I mean, even for people who aren't vegan, I think it's a lot more common to be buying that. But just be aware of what you're purchasing and who suffered for it and yeah. not contribute to it anymore it's so easy to choose the cruelty free version and yeah just going back on what you said before people have this idea that the down industry isn't cruel yeah and it's just the feathers that naturally fell off the birds and they just collect them and yeah. put them in a jacket or something it is not that watch dominion on youtube and see how horrific it truly is um, Dominion exposes all these industries. The wool industry, again, another misconception where people think sheep need to be sheared so it must be okay for me to contribute to the wool industry, but it's absolutely not. They all are abused and they're all murdered once they're considered no longer profitable and you don't need to be contributing to these industries. So, yeah. Feeling warm yeah, and awesome. cruelty free in these beautiful vegan jackets in this beautiful place here.
So as you can see, there's a, there's a big clearing there in the forest, just a big pasture land there, grazing land, because there's about 10 cows there right now. And I would say that they're beef cattle. Um, and they appear to be living a pretty good and peaceful life. They probably are right now, but in, uh, in the not too distant future, at a fraction of their natural lifespan, they're gonna be slent, sent straight to the slaughterhouse after being sent to a factory farm, most likely to be fattened up uh, even further. And those conditions aren't very nice. And then having their, uh, a bolt gun to their head to stun them and then to slice their throat just for you to have a meal. Um, but other than that, another crazy thought is that look at all the land that's being cleared for 10 cows. That is a big chunk of forest, native forest that had to be cut down. And if you think about it, in the broader scheme, the amount of cows that there have to be to feed humanity Think about the amount of land that has to be cleared just for that. Animal agriculture is the leading cause of deforestation. Um, and Australia is a big culprit for that. You only have to look at Queensland or every other state to see how much land and forest is being cleared just for you to have a stake. It's, start, uh, it's time to start rethinking where we get our food from and where our food, food comes from because these are sentient beings and they want to live free from harm just like the animals you saw in the sanctuary today yeah it's sad to see that just that contrast there of just we've just been through beautiful trees native wildlife and then to see this and this is just tiny in comparison to what we've seen in western australia etc we've seen mass amounts of land cleared and that's the reality of what it's like across the globe so this is saddening but nothing in comparison to the grand scheme of things where we're looking at you know I can't remember the exact statistic but as you said Queensland they have a lot of statistics on the deforestation caused by beef beef alone that's not even all of animal agriculture and I believe the statistics are between 70 to 80 plus percent of deforestation in Queensland and this is probably for all of Australia and a pretty close to statistic to what the global statistic is caused by breeding cows into existence for their flesh alone that's not taking in consideration all the other animals obviously cows require more amounts of land in, ter in that terms of things and not to mention all the crops i don't even know if that statistic includes all the food required for I those animals know. but pigs chickens dairy cows i don't think it even takes into account into that so we're looking at huge amounts of land destroyed to murder animals which is also murdering native wildlife. Yep. And it's a leading cause of species extinction. It's why the koala is on verge of being extinct and other native animals in Australia. Yeah, and just to elaborate on that point where you said they have to be fed grain in order to fatten up and that's at like the later stages of their life where they are taken off the pasture land and then put into uh, feedlots. Um, and I think the, st the statistic is that on average to get one kilo of flesh they have to eat seven kilos of grain. So think about the amount of resources that go in to producing flesh. If only we cut out the middleman, the middle animal, and started to consume those plant foods directly. Yeah, but yeah, regardless, as you said, it's not even about environmental no. these statistics. Of course, these are shocking and we're saying this because we're animal rights activists, we're speaking up for native animals as well who are being murdered as a result of animal agriculture. But just to create awareness of this, this holocaust that's happening to farmed animals and native animals and that they have the right to not have their homes destroyed, to not be forcibly bred into existence for someone to consume their flesh, their secretions or wear a leather or woolen jacket. It's just unnecessary. It is 
the largest injustice in history and the largest ongoing holocaust in history. It's getting dark now, but surprisingly it still looks very the light. The camera makes this camera it look is a lot awesome, more brighter than what it but is. But it is getting late, so we're just heading back now. Going to have dinner and that's it. So we hope you enjoyed our vlog today, sharing the stories of those beautiful animals and everything else that we did today. But yeah, we're heading back to Melbourne tomorrow. We're gonna get ready for a, another big weekend of activism. So it's just been a really beautiful break, spending time in nature with sanctuary animals and wildlife as well. So yeah, it's important to take time to look after yourself and spend time with happy animals. Yeah. Is that it? Yep. All right, see you next time. See you later.